Hi, this is the Cat's Library. I'll be your librarian today. I had a bit of a cold this week and kept waiting for it to stop, but it did not stop. So I don't know if my voice is overly coldish. Uh, Dolphin, engage. I've been trying to choose different types of animals for this series, but I do have a bit of a bias toward mammals. Dolphins are marine mammals, which is an informal category which includes polar bears, but not hippos. They're probably different enough from other mammals in the series to justify being here. There is a blurb about the photo that I'm using this time, but I did change it enough that it's probably a different animal. The dolphin is a bottlenose dolphin and its name is K-Dog. It is a bomb diffusing dolphin in the Persian Gulf and the thing on its fin is a tracking device. This picture was taken in 2003 and I think it won some awards. I can't believe this is public domain either. The photographer's name is Photographer's Mate First Class Brian Oho. And the guy in the picture's name is Sergeant Andrew Garrett. No, I'm not going to look up to see if they moved up the ranks in the last 20 years. That'd be creepy, and I'm only here to invade K-Dog's privacy. It took significantly less time to draw the dolphin than some of the other animals in the series, which I'm going to attribute to the lack of limbs and texture variety, and not that I'm losing my touch. I tried to get the background done first so that I could have some color because I accidentally chose another monochrome animal, but I did, had some trouble with the patterns and left it for last. Uh, spoiler, it took an incredibly long amount of time to get that splash right. I've never pet a dolphin before, but from looking at the pictures, I imagine that they have slightly rougher skin than a human, so I used a lot of the pencil brush. Like usual, I had a slight trouble balancing the natural pattern of the animal with the lighting with the three-dimensionality, all the while letting the texture come through. For realistic animal drawings, you always need more layers than you think you do. If you saw the last episode, you'll know that I used to overwork drawings to try to account for this, so there is a balance. The dolphin is all, also ever so slightly foreshortened, so its upper body is closer to the quote-unquote camera than its tail. One of the reasons I chose this image was because of the action pose, though, so, so I'm not that mad. I am, however, disappointed that I didn't notice this until near the end of the video making process. I wasn't exactly sure how to draw a dolphin's neck very well, partially because it doesn't have a neck, and that went against my instincts, so I'm not sure how well that turned out. I did do a little bit of fixing after I wrote the script, though, so I, I might have fixed it. I don't know. It's really hard to draw realistic, especially when I try to give myself a time limit. For the stories, I only found a few for dolphins, and I only think that they're sort of okay, so you might so you might like them. One of them isn't really a story, but I will do my best to explain it. Aesop's Fable, because you didn't really think that I could get through one of these without mentioning him? Aesop's Fable. The lion came to the dolphin one day and said, I am the king of the beasts, and you are the king of the sea, so let's make an alliance. And the dolphin said, sure, that makes sense. Later, the dolphin got in a fight with a bull and called out to the dolphin for help, but the dolphin couldn't come to help because while the dolphin was the master of sea, he wasn't the best on land. The myth of Orion and the dolphin Greek myth. Orion is spelled with an A. Orion is the world's best harp player. In Greek mythology, there were many people who held that title, but that's what my reference told me. So Orion was a Greek man who went to Italy to win his fortune and paid a ship to take him back home to Corinth. However, the crew heard that he was rich and decided to rob him. They gave him the choice of how he was going to die, and he said that he would throw himself into the sea. Before he did this, he requested that he could play his lyre first, and when he did so, he jumped into the sea and a dolphin saved him and swam back home. 
The story is very similar to the story of Jonah and both stories were written around the same time and were likely describing the same event. One of them was probably written by the guy who was actually there and the other one was written by a guy who was criticized by the historical community for exaggerating so you'll see which one you think is true. The Myths of the Bado and Cantado of the Amazon now, I found a bunch of sources that said that there were stories about this, but couldn't find a specific narrative. Now, the Bato Encantado are Amazon river dolphins who can turn into men at night and go to parties and seduce women. They are said to wear white, and some legends say that they wear hats to cover up the blowholes on their heads, which they can't get rid of for some reason. Apparently, the female dolphin seduced married men and just keeps the guy in an abandoned cabin for seven years, visiting him once a year on the anniversary of the day that they met. And then she turns him into a baby and puts him into his wife's womb. I am morbidly curious about why exactly this is a thing. And yay! I'm Finally done with this video. It took way longer than expected because I was all tired from being sick and my voice wasn't really behaving. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make a couple videos around the same time and we'll see which one gets done first, which I, I might have said in the last video. But yeah, I have started a few different projects and we'll see which one gets done first. Like the video, subscribe, comment, watch more of the videos on the channel, especially the last one that I did, which it did do very well for me, but I think it could do better. The uh, original dragon character video, I think that that one's really good. And tell your friends about my channel. Goodbye.